Okay, today we're going to look at two Mobile One oil filters, the old version M1-102, and we're going to be comparing it to the newer version M1-102A. And you can get the 102A at Walmart for $9.97. And the Mobile One here, this one's hard to get. I got this one on eBay, and the prices will vary, so you have to just check eBay and see if you can find it. But we're going to compare these two and see if they're the same filters. You know, this one said that it was good for 15,000 miles. This one said it's good for 20,000 miles. But um, let's check them out, compare them, and uh, see what they look like. So let's get started. It looks like it have a uh, get a good, uh, good nice tight. Get your inner here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the box. The M1102A says 99% efficiency, and that's for particles greater than 30 microns. And the older version says. 99.2% efficiency, but I'm assuming it's going to be um, the same amount, probably 99% at 30 microns. The canister says nine times the normal vehicle oil system operating pressure, and the new one says the same thing, heavy duty canister withstands nine times the normal system operating pressure. Okay, let's look at the filters themselves. Okay, and here's the date code. F02N25D2. Made in USA. This is a sticker. She has eight inlet holes. That looks like a silicone anti drain back valve bypass valve down below, and those look like louvers metal core with louvers. And eh, if the nitro gas gets on there fairly well. Okay, let's try the old version here. Check this one out. And this one's date code 11307H1. Product of USA. This is also a sticker. And they both say extended performance on them. This one only has six inlet holes. And that looks like a silicone and drain back valve. And let's check out this nitro rubber gasket. Well, well it comes out fairly easy once you get it. Once you get, you get it off there, it's, it actually comes off real easy. So when you got this one, you can see there's no, uh, check out the differences here. See, this one's got these little things here to help it stay on. Indentations. But yeah, you can see two different filters here. And this looks like it has an upper bypass valve. Metal core with holes. Oh, interesting. These, like, these, these look totally different. Well, I say we open these babies up and uh, see what's inside. Okay, let's start with the 102A. Get the weight. 11.5 ounces. And we'll try the 102. 12.2 ounces. A little more. How about the base plates? 102A. 6.6 .6 ounces. 102. 5.4 ounces. You can see these two are totally different. I, I'd rather have more holes. 
more holes equals probably a better oil flow. Yeah. The old rings are basically the same. I was checking these out there. They look uh They're about the same thickness. Definitely the same size. Yeah, they're but I'd rather have I'd rather have more holes than less holes. Okay, how about the any drain back valves? They're both silicone. And we'll get into this one later. But um let's check out the filter media here. I counted 65 pleats. It's got a metal crimp seam and kind of sloppy with the glue. And they're kind of sloppy here too. This is kind of crooked. But it's got the metal end caps. And this is uh, according to their box, anyways, 99% uh, at 30 microns. And it's a synthetic blend media. You can see the louvers. Bypass valve right here. And, actually put that there. and it has stamp leaf spring, which has a little hole here. It's almost flattened, anyways. It's not there's not much of an arc there. Okay, place where there's no sticker. Point three. It's about average, average thickness. Okay, we saw this. These little things here are on this on this uh, silicone any drain back valve. You got these little guys because this one has an upper bypass valve, and it's pretty neat. It's built right into the filter, right into the end cap. It's built right into the end cap. And this one also too is sloppy, sloppy with the glue. You got metal end caps. You got holes. We'll see it better probably once I cut this open. But I counted uh 58 pleats on this one. And it looks like it's got an inside seam right there. But you can see they got a lot of spaces here. This one's got uh what is it? Seven less pleats. That they could have filled in here, you know. Here too. And this one also has stamp leaf spring, but it's skinnier. And they got size difference. I'd, I think I'd rather have this one. This is the new version. This is the old version. Although they got. They got this little metal here, so it probably won't bend that easy. And let's see what the can is on this one. It's 0.4. Yeah, it's, it's about the same. Let me see. It's actually, the old one feels a little, little thicker. This one bends easier. Yeah, I'd say the, the older version is, uh, is a little thicker. This one here on my left. And let's see, the older version. Let's get some filter widths. One point seven one inches. Point six five inches, two point three two inches. Two 
2.09 inches. Point six three inches, two point four three inches. Let's see if the weight any different. This one probably is heavier because it's got the bypass valve built in. Three point nine ounces for the one hundred two. Yeah, three two point seven ounces for the one hundred two A. Yeah, you can see some differences here. That there, there, you know, a lot of, a lot of missing pleats here. Both sloppy though. That's a lot of glue. Well, you know what? Let's cut these babies open. See which one's longer. Uh, put my money on this new one, the one hundred two A, just because it's got more seven more pleats. Um, so it should be longer. All right, be right back. Okay, here they are all stretched out. And the 102A is 54 and a half inches long. And the older version 102 is about 52 inches long. Here they are zoomed out. Okay, and here's the seams, and I was correct in assuming that this has got a, had an inside seam, glued seam. And the crimp seam just broke on me, so uh, when I was cutting it open. But both filter medias look and feel the same, so I would, I would say they're the same. Same micron rating, probably 99%, but at 30 microns, synthetic blend media. And these guys, let's look at these guys. I'd say the base plate on the newer 102A is better. It's thicker. It's got more holes. And the threads, there's, the threads are probably equal. The amount of threads there. But this is definitely, it's heavier and feels, feels beefier and thicker. You know, it feels, feels better made. And these guys... You can tell these are, they must have been two different companies because Champ makes them now. I guess. But uh, I don't know who made these guys. So if I look it up, I'll, I'll try looking it up and um, see who made them before. If, unless they just totally changed them, I don't know. But yeah, they look a lot different here. I like these upper bypass valves though. These are pretty cool. And Oh yeah, these the they're the same height, but look at the weight difference. The old one's two point four ounces. The new one's one point seven ounces. So the old one was definitely thicker. And the old one had a better looking box too. <laughs> I, I like this box a lot better than this new box. What do you guys think? Yeah, looks more colorful. Springs? Eh, I don't care for leaf springs, but I guess if I was going to pick one, I'd pick the wider one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.